the sides. I try to avoid the ebony if I can, uh, but sometimes you really just can't. And that'll just have to get sanded off. If you have bindings that you don't want to get touched with your pore filler, you can certainly mask those off. That would be just fine. The uh, ebony pores are, are so small that they sand right out. They don't really fill. So I don't really get a contaminated uh, ebony grain with this color. You can extend the life of your sandpaper a little bit by rubbing it on the carpet when it starts to get clogged. It doesn't work that well, but every little bit helps. Okay, now I need to get this side with the uh, grain filler, sand it, and then call it good. And then I can start sanding on the top and get that ready. And then once both of those are ready, we will French polish the back, the sides, and then to the top. I've got another little bit mixed up. With this particular filler, it's really important to get this as thin as possible and to wipe off as much as you possibly can while you're doing it. Uh, because once it, if you leave a thicker spot on there, it really is more difficult to dry. And even just a little goober of it, you know, kind of a, a pile, I guess, takes so much longer but if you can squeegee it off it really dries quickly and you can get to it otherwise it's it if you leave a uh, like if you leave something like that it's going to take hours for it to dry versus wiping it on like this, squeegeeing off, and then it really just dries in a few minutes. You can see this stuff is starting to crust over already, as long as it's super, super thin. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to let this dry and come back to it, sand it all back. So I'll see you in a few minutes when I start to sand. Now everything is sanded back to 320. I've looked over everything. I think it looks pretty good. There are a couple of cloudy spots, but I think that is just uh, some dust. And I think those will go away when I do my uh, seal coat. 
do a one check, go over the whole thing, make sure that you don't feel any rough spots, that you don't see any obvious places that you missed with the uh, pore filler. Touch up anything that you think needs to, make sure the back binding is rounded off uh, as much as you want it to. Once we have all of those things taken care of and you're satisfied with the way it is, let's do a seal coat on it. Now the trick is to go from a dust filled environment to a dust free environment. Well, dust free in the uh, luthier bench is not really possible, but um, at least cleaned up. So I'm gonna clean this up and then we will get started on the seal coat and we'll pick that up in the next video. Mm -hmm.